first thing that you see is the bathroom featuring Priscilla. I love the bathroom. First of all, what? Wait, I don't want to be ghetto, but how do you close the door? You don't close the door. Okay. No, we're going to be just butt ass. So we have body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and then they have right the light in here. Spectacular. And then here we go. Extra tarot the bathroom and then when you come over here is the locker or the drawer or whatever you want to call it and they have this long 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 mirror and we get two free yo i would have wasted money on robes bro we have um two robes and a beach bag and some hangers we have some save and then we got some drawers this is so ghetto bro artwork here some water glass more drawers we have some art and then we have some tv and then we come to the beautiful balcony it's so cute this is the view the view is not much but this is what we're giving um this is a rooftop at the top we have a wine and the bar this is a luxury um hotel guys so yes it calls we shouldn't talk about almost two bands so um it's the birthday we gotta do it and then we have the beds we have two beds because you know two grown-ass women can't share a bed and then that's okay. it y'all so um today we're just going to unravel things and go back into target to get the rest of the things that we need and yeah we're in a fucking Miami doing it big, okay? Fuck out of here. Who's doing it big like this? Not you, man. <laughs> Bro, I had some dragon fruit and some Starbucks sandwich. It was so good. So, so good. But anyways, we're about to um, get ready. I mean, organize our stuff. And then we're going to um, go out tonight. That's the only agenda for today, so... See y'all later. My Miss Madame is hype as a motherfucker. <laughs> Who's doing it like, like her? Who's doing it like her? Okay, it's the luxury Madame herself. Had to
Survive at the edge of the fucking ocean. Stop this thing because they think I touch you, I'm gonna run. <laughs> She's just walking it like it's. How are they just walking? Okay, that's the first I could go. My black ass can't swim, I don't got time to die for that. Oh, you look good in the camera. Get me, get me, get me, get me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh, oh. Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? Yeah. Come wine till you broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Tell it who you got the glue. Who you got the glue. Who you got the glue. Come broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Hey y'all. So it is like our second day here. We did so much, as you guys can see. I don't think I've talked to you guys, but today's officially my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. It really, bro. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like my birthday, to be honest. It, it just feels like I'm just on a vacation, and as it should. Okay. But um. I don't know. Hopefully, I got enough footage for each day. But the first day we came in, we went to Target, settled down, did everything we had to do, and chilled. And we went to our first lounge yesterday. And it was lit. We were supposed to go to Victory, but when we got there, it was like the kitchen is closed. Your girl was hungry, okay? So we went to another restaurant right next to it and turns out that restaurant was even way lit like it was just meant to be at this point and then i'm trying to lie my lips and talk at the same time which is impossible but we're gonna do it and then which is today the, week, the next morning which is today or the next day we got dressed to go to the beach to take pictures but bro miami heat is different is this hell i know miami's full of sinners but damn god like <laughs> there's other people who's, who have some good in them okay 
because the heat here is straight hell, bro. Like, niggas felt like we were about to pass the fuck out. And, like, you know, Miami, everything is walking distance. And if you're taking Uber everywhere, then you're teething yourself. So we decided to be a responsible adult and walk to the beach. Never again. We went to the beach. The beach was calm, but, we, like, the, the sun drained us so bad that all we wanted to do was take pictures and move. And that's exactly what we did. And then we found a spot to eat, as I showed you guys. Um, their pina colada was so good. So freaking good. Let me line this lip and stop talking. But yeah, the pina colada was so good, y'all. And we got some um, Alfredo pasta, but we didn't finish it, so we brought it back. Hold on, make sure we're still recording. Okay. We brought it back. So we came back. We're just chilling. Priscilla took a 15 minute nap. Me, I took a two minute nap. So I'm drained. But at, right, right now we're getting ready to go on a speedboat because we can't shake our ass on the yacht yet. We can't find a yacht. So next time when we come, we're going to have a yacht. Okay? Like, period. <laughs> um... What was it called? Yeah, when we come back, we just been gonna have a yacht, but we're going to speedboat. That's just, that's still something we want to experience. You know, we didn't come here to just club and lounge and drink. You know, want to like, you know, experience Miami, okay? And you line this lid right here. This one, my lips is too glossy to, for me to be lying. Up. So, right now we're getting ready for the speedboat. It, we board on the boat at five. It's currently four o'clock, four three. So, hopefully, I can vlog while I'm on the speedboat. But so far, I don't know why, but it feels like we've been here for weeks, and it's only been a day and a half, and we have two two days to go. So, I'm gonna catch you guys up when we come back, cause we're not gonna have nothing to do until like. Um, nine ten so you guys gonna have all my attention probably not but yeah i'm tired but vacation equals no sleep and that's what you signed up for so this is did i show you the fit for my beach wear hopefully i did if i did it i'm sorry i'll answer the picture but right now we're going to boat and so I was going to wear a dress, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay calm. So I'm wearing this um, Skim Dupes from Shein bodysuit. And then some jeans that I cropped it because it couldn't fit me. So I turned into booty shorts. And then I'm going to wear my plaits. These plaits right there. They are cute, but they are very uncomfortable as hell very uncomfortable so no hold on i gotta take this out of zone um, yeah it's keeping the choking <laughs> come show them your fit hey guys welcome okay. to the vloggy vlog oh week. Yeah, so this is the outfit for today. We have on the Yeezy. Oh, I, I can't even show them. I, I got you. Hold on, let me re so, Let me re Hey, guys. So I'm going to show you guys the outfit for today. It's really much giving retrograde. I have on the Yeezy 700s. Um, I forgot the name. It's the statics. Yeah. Then I have this two-piece set. Um, And then I have on these shades giving with the curly hair yeah oh, so far miami has been giving us yeah we're coming back okay <laughs> we're definitely coming back during the winter because at this point this is but the, but the thing about it is this is the weather all year round oh, what a life well we about to book our uber and head out so i'm gonna see you guys later
Good morning, God. Good afternoon. It is our third day here. Yesterday, did I vlog? What, um, what did we do yesterday? We went to the beach. Looks so cute, y'all. Yeah, ignore our room, but um, we went to the beach. I vlogged going to us going to the beach, and then we came back. I don't remember what we did. Like I, I lost memory, bro. <laughs> I lost brain cells. Yeah, I lost brain cells. Um, so we went to the beach, and we went to get food. Oh, we went to get food at the strip, and we came back. And we went to the activity, the boat ride. Oh, and yes. after the boat ride, you think we did a lot. We did a lot. Beach, beach trips, activity. We went to the boat ride, and then we went to we went out. We yeah, took pictures, took pictures, and went out yeah. to um, Voodoo. Yeah, Voodoo. And then we came back home. So today we're about to. That's that's the thing. We plan shit, and then the next day the same day there's so many things going on and then we forget what we did and we did like 10 things in the day so right now our plan our initial plan is to go get some food in our system nothing crazy since we're going to the strip we don't need an uber yeah we're gonna walk yeah okay if we walked it yesterday we had lunch so we're going to the strip to get some food and um after that we're gonna go come and enjoy the pool that we paid for okay um and then we're going to finish our night off with live live we're going to live because tori lanes is performing tonight so right now we have a cute orange outfit a little brunch brunch outfit giving very much classy miami baddies okay rich mommies future billionaires mm-hmm i keep looking here because i'm looking at myself y'all know i love looking at myself so sorry if i look cross at it um so yeah we're gonna go up to the balcony and try to take a little cute videos pictures and all that stuff at this point we're so over that we're good we're just going with the flow we i just pray with i find a way to edit our pictures like good the pictures we took yesterday oh yeah i mean it came out good it came out good it's not as it's not as good as the first day i feel like the first day picture is always gonna hit more 
I'm sorry. But regardless, content is content. I'm still going to post. Not everything is perfect. Not all this Instagram baddies look great all the time. I'm not going to lie. Is it just me that, like, when I, say, like, when I look at my favorite influencer, sometimes when I see their pictures, like, oh, I knew he was going to slay. I knew he was going to slay. I knew he was going to slay. Yeah. It's not like, <gasps> all the yeah, time. Because you know. Right? Exactly. You, you know already. So nothing has to be perfect. As long as you're consistent, you're a consistent baddie, a consistent fine babes, Period. you should be good. So, so, this is the outfit for the day. This, um, I don't even know if y'all can see us. This, I don't know, this one piece see-through dress from Shein, and I'm going to be wearing my platform from Ego. You want to show them the outfit? Yo, so, but I have one. I have this cute little dress that I got from Zara. Like, I know I love me some Zara, okay? And then I got me this little cute coach bag with my Gucci slippers. And we just serve it. Looks at this point. Yeah. Ray's standing there. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs>
out that you're drunk yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club You know I get nasty, you know I get nasty. You know. Don't go around in my house and call a taxi I haven't talked to y'all since this morning and as you can see we did everything we said we was doing and uh, we about to do our last thing in Miami which is go to live to see Tory Lanez bro please we're going to um sorry um we're going to um live to see Tory Lanez and that will be the last thing we do today, bro. Today, um, bro, I'm all over the place. Sorry, y'all. So we're going to go see um, Tory Lanez at Lie Live, and then that will be the last thing we do. On t and we leave like 5 a.m. in the morning. We're trying to be out of out of Miami early in the morning, so we could be home early in the morning as well. Um, um, so first and first, I just want to say thank you to everybody that said happy birthday to me. I want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed to me. I want to say thank you to everybody that showed love and support always. Yeah, I know I'm always a grateful person, so I will always say thank you. Um, honestly, being 23, it doesn't feel real. You know, I don't know if it's just me, but it turning a certain age doesn't hit you until like later on and that's how i'm feeling like i don't feel 23 right now but i don't know like right now being 23 my only goal in life right now is to be successful for me meaning i want to get my life together i'm not going to go into details but i want to get my life together i want to travel more i want to make more money i just want to Make sure I'm safe and I'm good emotionally, mentally, physically, financially stable before I can branch out to do anything, you know? Because <sighs> it's a lot, man. It's a lot. So, I don't know. I, like, I'm trying to sit here and talk to y'all about how I'm feeling, but I really don't know how I feel right now. I, I don't know if i'm excited about my birthday my birthday's already over but i don't know if i'm excited or anything but i don't know like is this <sighs> this trip was definitely needed of course and i have definitely had a lot of fun but a part of me feel like i'm missing something and you're always gonna feel like that you know because i have to tell myself that i'm always gonna feel like i'm missing something or i could do better and that's life and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it pushes you to keep going. It's a bad thing because you're not going to feel like you're doing good in life. So you're going to be hard on yourself. And you're not going to be grateful for everything that you have. So just twist it. I'm telling myself just twist it and enjoy the moment now. And be grateful for the fact that you don't feel fully complete. And the reason why you don't feel fully complete because you know this greater callings for you. If that makes sense. So I'm rambling right now because it's just unbelievable that I was just 17, 18. Now I'm 23, about to be a grown ass woman. Like I'm knocking on 25. Isn't that crazy? Like, and I'm so like grateful for my growth. It's crazy. I'm grateful for the people around me. Cause honestly, there's so much you can do by yourself. You're like, I kid you not, yes, the sky's the limit, but it's always a limit when you, what you can do by yourself. And I'm so grateful for the people that are in my life and the people who've helped me, whether it's still in my life or not. Like, I'm just grateful for everybody that's ever been in my life because without those interactions and those experiences, I would not be at where I'm at right now, mentally, physically, emotionally, all that. So... 
20, 22, my 22 years on this earth, all I have to say is there's more to life, man. There is more to life. Um, never settle. Always understand that you can always do better. Always understand that life is always gonna happen. The best thing you can do is just keep pushing. Like one thing I've like I'm so proud of myself about is I used to be a complainer. I will always complain about everything. Something can be like small convenient don't go right right. I'll be in a small like I'll be a in an ugly mood. I'll be a Debbie Downer and all that stuff. And I had to remind myself constantly, what the fuck is that doing for you? Like, and I learned that from emotional intelligence. Like it told you, like it, it in that, there was a chapter that says, every time you start complaining in your head and every time you start thinking negative, ask yourself, how is this even going to help with anything? The only thing it's gonna help with is make you feel even wessa. Cause the pressure is getting wessa. Okay, the only thing it will make you do is bring your mood down even more. And if you're a normal human being, the best thing you want for yourself is to always be happy. So I'm proud of myself about that. Like I, I'm seeing so much like growth. And next up, I want to talk about content creating. First and first, this is my letter to the OG content creators. I will kiss the ground that you guys walk on because you guys are freaking amazing because boy girl i swear to god y'all bro thank god my friend priscilla is here because if not I, I will not be enjoying this vacation because i'm trying to like create content at the same time enjoy this vacation if she wasn't here content will be so fucking hard creating content being a content creator is not easy it's not easy so when people want support, I'm not like, y'all support them, yo, cause it's not easy. And like, you know, in the mass majority's eyes, they don't see content created as like a job. So they don't think, oh, they don't like feel the need to support people. Please support content creators cause it's not easy. And if you think, oh, I'm capping, try to be a content creator yourself for a good month. And come to me and let me know how that goes. You know? So I'm very grateful for Priscilla for being here. Because I, I I promise you I'll have a fucking mental breakdown. But, yeah. I'm not going to talk too much right now. Because we got to get ready to leave. I'm about to get dressed. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this video off here. Of course, you guys are going to see us go to live. And you guys are going to see me end the, the video with us at the airport and all that stuff. But I know I'm not going to have no time to talk to y'all. So I'm sitting here to say thank you. Thank you so much. I only have 200 and something subscribers. And guess what? I'm still grateful because I understand that a couple months ago, I only had 60 subscribers. And there's somebody who's out there praying to be in my position. In any platform that you guys is, um you guys support me on, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, I'm super grateful because there's so many people out there that's watching me and you to be in our place. They're praying to be in our place. And not only them, remember, old you was praying to be in the position that you're in now. So I have to like, bro, I'm super grateful for right now. Like even talking about it right now, old me a year ago was Feeling to travel, even trying to get a ticket to travel was a hustle. Now it's like I don't I don't mean to brag, but we're in an almost two thousand dollar hotel. Old me could not even afford to eat at night. Let's really sit here and talk about it. Old me couldn't even afford to eat at night, bro. I had to go to sleep hungry. Now. I can do this with my friend with ease like you really have to be fucking grateful as hell and one thing i'll tell you I always always keep a positive mind you're human you're always going to think negative but the moment you start thinking negative and feeling down always tell yourself stop being a bitch or just stop being a little pussy and tell yourself you being down who is it helping and is it physically going to move you no it's not doing nothing for you but making your mood wessa Okay, that's my 
tip for you after living on this earth for 22 years always understand that when the moment you start feeling down and start complaining and start being negative always ask yourself is this gonna help it's not helping it's not helping it's always a way always choose happiness guys always choose happiness stay positive keep reading your books and keep believing in yourself understand the journey is not easy but where you're at right now is what you was praying for. So be grateful and also understand that there's more to more to life to get to. We're not done yet. Next thing I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be a billionaire. Stop playing. Okay, bye guys. I'm having one of those moments. Yeah, I lost my voice. But tonight was fucking lit as fuck. Hold on. Like, Miami, you got it. Yeah. Miami, a thousand, us, negative ten. <laughs> okay, Miami got it. But we got to go catch a flight in like four hours, so. Bro, let's go.